Welcome to Fingerblade Media Reviews. I'm Captain J, your host, and this is our inaugural episode. So, what more fitting than to review something amazing like Cinematic Titanic, the video collection. Now, those of you might be unfamiliar with Cinematic Titanic, but will know its more popular predecessor, Mystery Science Theater 3000. MST3K for short. It's an amazing, iconic program which ran from 1988 to 1999. After it ended, fans still wanted more. So Joel Hodgson, the uh, creator of Mystery Science Theater 3000, went and formed Cinematic Titanic, which was similar. It had, uh, those of you who may not even know the name Mystery Science Theater 3000 might know the look of it. It had the silhouettes of the theater seats with uh, a test subject, which was a man, and his two robot companions, and they would be making fun of really awful movies and actually making them watchable. Well, the Cinematic Titanic takes a similar approach, yet instead of the silhouettes being on the bottom, they were on the sides. And basically it was almost, you can almost say like a ship where they were basically hanging onto the, the rails, I guess it was, and watching, again, really, really awful movies. But this time there were uh, like five or six of them. And you can probably see other, around the sides here on the front video cover where they would actually be standing there and the movie would project there. Well, actually, this, this program, it was... It lasted quite a few years, but they didn't produce nearly as many episodes as Mystery Science Theater, which was almost 200 episodes in its original run. And, of course, as of 2017, another season has come, and Mystery Science Theater has lived on and is back again. Unfortunately, that means Cinematic Titanic ended, but not without producing some amazing, amazing programs. So this... DVD set, it doesn't look like much. It basically looks like a regular set. Because a regular set of Mystery Science Theater, I'll have to show it to you, actually has one, two, three, four. Four discs. That's pretty much the usual. Some, some will have five movies in it, but four movies plus a few extras in there. But this one, even though it's a similar size, actually has... All right, one, two, three, four, five, six discs inside, each with two movies on each one. So you're getting 12 movies, and that is the entire program. Now what they did was they did six that were done in the silhouette style, like Mystery Science Theater. Actually, I'll show it to you right now on the screen. So that was the look of Cinematic Titanic. And then, also, they actually toured live and recorded some live programs. So, they actually did some of the live ones. So, you can take your pick which one you like better. I mean, I personally like the studio version because, you know, I'm a bit of a stickler for, you know, the old style of the Mystery Science Theater. And But I gotta warn people, because Mystery Science Theater was all family-oriented, so there was no language or anything. Whereas Cinematic Titanic's a bit more risque. Of course, you're not going to get the the F-bombs or anything like that, but you will get, you know, the odd, the odd curse word here and there. And, of course, the movies they're doing are a little bit more um, risque. Um, and, of course, the movies are listed on the back. They kind of went on the cheap here with the video cover. Because if you look at one of these deluxe Mystery Science Theater episodes, comes in a tin can, and it's got the movies in there individually wrapped. And it would come with some posters, a few other items. Whereas this one here is pretty much released on the cheap. Uh, when I got it, it actually, there was one, there was a defect on it, a minor defect, but I still had to kind of take an X-Acto knife because the the actual disc had fallen out. Not, not a big deal, but the great part about this is one of these sets here would cost you, set you back about 
maybe plus shipping, you're looking at about $45. Whereas this one only cost me $20 plus shipping, so you're looking at less than $30 for 12 movies. And the movies include The Oozing Skull, Doomsday Machine, The Wasp Woman, Legacy of Blood, Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. That was actually, that one there was actually earlier done on Mystery Science Theater. So you could actually watch the, the earlier version and then watch this version, which it's, it's an amazing because it's a completely different experience, even if you've seen the Mystery Science Theater one. Frankenstein's Castle of Freaks, Blood of the Vampires, East Meets Watts, live. The Alien Factor, live. Danger on Tiki Island, live. War of the Insects, live and Rattlers Live. As far as as special features goes, it's it's a little modest on that department. We get a uh, Between the Riffs, which is kind of a behind the scenes from one of their live shows, which is nice. And a look back with J. Elvis Weinstein. A lot of you might not know the name J. Elvis Weinstein. He was actually Dr. Earhart in Mystery Science Theater during their KTMA their first, their, when they were on cable TV, and their first season on the Comedy Network, which in later seasons they didn't play that season enough because it was kind of, it was, it was in the early stages, a little rough. Uh, he left after season one and was replaced by the amazing TV's Frank, Frank Conniff, which, by the way, leads us into who was in this program. Joel Hodgson, creator of Mystery Science Theater, Trace Beaulieu, who was also, um, Dr. Forrester, J. Elvis Weinstein, who was Dr. Earhart, Mary Jo Peel, she was Pearl Forrester, Dr. Forrester's mother in the show, and of course TV's Frank, Frank Conniff. So you got all those cast members. Now of course you're missing uh, Bill Corbett, Kevin Murphy, Mike Nelson. Those three actually went on to form Rift Tracks, which is a completely different entity. It they riff on movies, they make fun of Hollywood movies. Like, you'll go from Star Wars, Avatar, Titanic, everything like that. And the reason why they can do that and get away with it without copyright is that it is actually an audio track, like you would get on a DVD commentary. So, and you would sync it up with the movie, which, you know, it can be kind of, kind of hard to do sometimes. It takes a bit of effort. Whereas this one here... It's got it all there. You got the silhouettes, and when they do the live, they actually show their their live um, them sitting there, which I'll show you on the screen right now. Yeah, so that's 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 the difference there, and uh, of course, uh, to just to refresh some of you, Mystery Science Theater. This is what it looked like there with the the theater seats and the individuals watching the movie. It's quite the experience. Again, they would make unwatchable movies watchable. And this set, I cannot say enough about it. It's my favorite DVD compilation to do with, like, Mystery Science Theater and anything associated with it. Because it's certainly value for the money. So, less than $30, you get 12 movies. Hours and hours of fun. And a lot of you have seen the entire program and watched multiple episodes over and over again of Mystery Science Theater. But this one, it's great because it's something new, yet something, it just feels, you feel so at home. If you are a fan of movie riffing, again, commentary during the movies, and watching people talk throughout a movie, but in done in a funny way, definitely get this one. Even if you're not originally a fan you want to start with something start with this because i mean how can you go wrong even if you don't like it you're, it's only setting you back 25 30 dollars so i definitely recommend cinematic titanic i got it on amazon and definitely you won't you know you'll love it you know i recommend it captain j recommends it so uh goodbye to all from uh, fingerblade media reviews and i'll see you next time